Welcome to Dorby Kager. I'm Tanner. I'm Rob. And today we are reviewing Left Hand Brewing Company's Hardwired Nitro Coffee Porter. Woo! You feeling it? I feel the hard water. I'd like you to, to calm your tits. Feel the hard water. 6% alcohol by volume, 33 IBUs. All right. So like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of Dorby Kager shenanigans. And you are looking forward to support the craziness here at Dorby Kager. Check us out on that Patreon link below. Also, check out King Jarma's Twitch, also in the link below. All right. Let's get it going. Nitro. These are so fun to wash. Because you pour them totally different than normal beers. You want these this cascading head thing to be happening? Is that the whole game? No. Put the whole game in there. Don't tell me how to live my life. I'll tell you how to do everything. No, you won't, because you so, can't do everything. So you can kind of see that that cascading head is really what makes nitro porters something special. And I, I love nitros. I love nitros. I'm such a geek on nitros. It's so good. How many times can you say nitro? I don't know. Nitro? Mulatto, creamy head. Ha! <laughs> 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 he was waiting for it. Extremely tight bubbles. I like tight bubbles. Tight bubbles. Real tight. So, have you ever smelled coffee? Because this is, uh... Oh yeah, no, that, that smells like coffee. Because <laughs> that smells like coffee. So it lists the ingredients. Okay, go. Hit me with them. I splashed it somehow. But uh, it says Rocky Mountain Water. Woo! Malted Barley. Woo! Coffee. Woo! Hops. How many are there? Because <laughs> I can't go much higher. And yeast. Okay, there you go. So, uh, pretty basic. I love a lot of stuff that comes from left hand. They do an excellent job. Let's get in there. Okay. Oh, it delivers. Yep, that's a nitro all day. It's got that that real subtle, like creamy flavor to start with. Mouthfeel. And then it, then it just hits you in the back of your face with the fucking coffee. It's so good though. It's awesome. It, it's great. Um, it, it, What's weird about it is the lingering coffee flavor is that of a medium roast. But when you first, when the coffee first hits your mouth, it's a very robust, very full flavor that's softened on the back end by that nitro. It's I like softened things on the back end. Yeah, I don't like it to be aggressive because I mean, you get you can get a lot of bitterness obviously in a porter like this. But I feel like you're bitter. I'm not being bitter. This is excellent. I really like this. The question is, is this better than Surly, their coffee porter? Because that has been pretty much the gold standard for coffee porters. No, it's not. Tell me why. I, for the development of flavor, um, it's a little it's a little bitter on the on the ass end, um, and I'm not getting as much coffee as I got with serving. So I don't really get the bitter. See, I, I feel like I'm drinking a creamy espresso. Yeah, I feel that. Um, have you ever had? Um... Oh, uh, what do they call it? Where it's like espresso and like, where it's like espresso and it's like, but they put milk where in it like as what? well. Espresso and like milk. What? You know what I'm talking about? What is that called? An Americano? I don't know. I don't in, really, in, I, anyway. I drink black coffee. So. Well, so do I. So that's why I'm like struggling with what it's actually called. But anyway, you kind of do get that. Yeah, it's good for me. Um, but I do love a pumpkin spice latte. Man, that's good. So delicious. Uh, I believe that a caramel frappuccino is where it's at. Mm. See, but that pumpkin spice latte, you get the espresso, you get the pumpkin spice, and you get that creaminess. Do you have a pair of Uggs as well? I do, do have, have a pair of Uggs. A pair of like... You, you know, should like... see my very tight-fitting North Face jacket. Anyway, I give this a four. I like it a lot. I think it's pretty good. I'll call it a four as well. I... Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna take one more drink before it cheers this shit, so... Yeah. You're not going to be wasting your money with this, and it's a very robust but kind of medium mouthfeel nitro uh, porter. It's excellent. Like I would mouthfeel. Huh? I love that mouthfeel. I would love to try this, but kind of like with more of like a stout. Throw some chocolate in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw yeah, some. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying. Throw some extra flavors in there, left hand. I yeah, really burn some of that barley. There, there you go. go. There you go. Fry it up nice. Oh. Well, anyway, guys, know. what? What kind of southern back ass way did you just? Southern people are great people. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I agree with that. Southern people are. Great I'm just saying. I, I want Don't ever cross them. A lot of them have relatively big farms. I want depth. That's why it's not a five. 
I'll give you some diff. <laughs>